Are humans the only intelligent species on the planet? Why has mankind's evolutionary process been accelerated from ape man to homo sapiens? Are humans the result of alien civilization's genetic intervention? Watch this video to find out the answers provided by The Lacerda's Files. Hey folks, welcome back to Conspiracy Theorists, your go-to channel for all the strange, mysterious conspiracy theories. In today's video, we'll see the conspiracy theories about lizard people erased from the underground advanced civilization, according to Oleg's interview with one of them. So, let's begin. In 1998, a guy called EF living deep in a Swedish woodland met a female lady named Lacerda multiple times in the forest. Very soon, EF and Lacerda became friends because of their frequent encounters in the woods. One day, Lacerda revealed her true identity to EF, that she is not a human, but a reptilian humanoid, commonly known as Lizard Man. EF informed his buddy, Olek, about his encounter with Lacerda. Because of Lacerda's interest in humans' reaction to her race, Lacerda proposed to have Olek interviewing her. Then, two interviews with Lacerda were soon conducted. In the interviews, Lacerda told Olek about the origins of the human and Lizard Man races, the underground civilization, aliens, and the universe, which are all recorded in the format of question and answer in the Lacerda files. In this video, we're going to cover some main contents from the first interview, which was conducted on the 16th of December, 1999. To begin with, Olek asked Lacerda, who are you? Are you a species from the earth or an alien from outer space? Lacerda replied, as you can see, without camouflage, I am not a human, and technically, we are not mammals, but reptiles. It just happens that our bodies developed some characteristics of the mammals in our evolution, such as breastfeeding. Our race is very old. We are the true natives of the earth, not human. You can find evidences of our existence in some of the humans' religious records. We were well known and often treated as gods in the ancient human societies. For example, in the Christian Bible, that snake in the Garden of Eden is actually a description of us, the lizard people. The Chinese dragons are also sculpted according to our appearance. We appear on the ancient Egyptian and Inca wall art drawings as well. But there seems to be some misunderstanding to our role in human history. Sometimes we are described as evil. Oleg's request of taking pictures of Lacerda was refused since she believed that humans would question the truthfulness of the interviews anyway, regardless of the photo evidences. In the interview, Lacerda told a story about the true history of the human race. 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs and some other species went extinct because of a disaster. Many of the human scientists think the disaster was caused by meteoroids falling on the Earth. But the truth is that it was caused by a war between two alien races because of the competition for resources on Earth. One is the sapient humanoid race, another is the bipedal reptile race. However, the sapient humanoid race has nothing to do with the human's origin, and the bipedal reptile race has nothing to do with the lizard man. They are both alien races from the outer space. When the aliens first came to Earth, there was no intelligent native species. In particular, the bipedal reptile race is from another parallel universe. Lacerda added that the whole human understanding about the universe and dimensions is wrong. She said the whole world is a collection of universes. Our universe is like one of the bubbles in the world, and there are many other big bubbles. The bipedal reptile race came to this bubble from another bubble. The sapient humanoid race came to Earth first which was 1,500,000 years earlier than the bipedal reptile race. They came here for Earth's minerals, especially copper. Later, the bipedal reptiles came here for the same mineral resources. At the beginning, they tried to make some agreement. However, things did not work out, and they started to fight on Earth's atmosphere. At the beginning of the war, the sapient humanoids were gaining the upper hand, to fight back, the bipedal reptiles decided to test a novel nuclear fusion weapon which can kill all living creatures but not destroy the environment. The bipedal reptiles aimed to eliminate all the species on Earth including the sapient humanoids, but retained all the resources. This special bomb was placed and detonated in the middle America. 
the place where we thought the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs landed. However, it did not end up like what the bipedal reptiles expected. The detonation was catastrophic, which caused the whole Earth undergoing 200 years of nuclear winter. Most of the species on Earth did not survive the nuclear winter, including the sapient humanoids. And because of the catastrophic condition, the bipedal reptiles were not able to extract the resources on Earth. Therefore, they retreated at the time being. Nevertheless, some of the species, including some dinosaurs, walk with two legs and have eyes in front of their faces instead of the two sides, were able to survive and continue living on Earth. These dinosaurs are the ancestors of the lizard man on Earth. Therefore, the lizard man does not evolved from lizard, but dinosaur. After 30 million years of evolution, the lizard man has gained their current form. Lacerda added that around 10 million years ago, the lizard man removed their genes of race division through genetic engineering. Since then, they do not have civil wars anymore, but unexpectedly, their evolution has somehow become very slow. 1,500,000 years ago, they planned to go to the surface of Earth and regain control of everything. However, the arrival of another sapient humanoid race from space named Elohim stopped them from doing so. This time, the Elohim did not come to Earth for minerals, but monkeys. They planned to genetically engineer the monkeys and turn them into their slaves and soldiers. Lacerda said that the current human race is the seventh trial of Elohim's experiment. The previous six generations of humans were all extinct because of the flaws in their genes. This is somewhat consistent with Darwin's theory of evolution. Some of the ancient structures are built by the humans in the previous trials. For example, the pyramids were built by humans of the fifth experiment, Lacerda added. Because of the resentfulness about Elohim's trespassing, the lizard man declared war with Elohim between the sixth and seventh trials. This is why the Elohim fabricated different religious myths and depicted the lizard people as evil beings. Strangely, in the middle of the war, the Elohim suddenly destroyed all their facilities on Earth and left without a trace. After that, humans of the seventh trial have developed the current civilization. Lacerda said, They may come back. It happened before in the first trial. They started the trial and came back thousands of years later to see the results. Oleg questioned the truthfulness of Lacerda's story. Lacerda replied that this history was retrieved by decoding the information left by the sapient humanoids before their extinction in the nuclear winter. The origin of the lizard man race and their ancestor were traced through reverse engineering of their genes. At the end of the interview, Lacerda warned humans about our future. She said different alien races started coming to Earth again with the same objective of gaining resources around 4,900 years ago, with their bases built underground. Certain levels of partnership is secretly built between them and some of the governments, and the aliens trade their technologies for Earth's resources. However, a war may happen because of conflict of interests between different alien parties and humans. Such a war can happen in the forms of natural disasters and collapses of societies, instead of the typical war that is all about firing of weapons. That was the video, guys. Do you have any conspiracy theories about the origins of human beings as well as the lizard people and their underground civilization? To know more about this case and other conspiracy theories around it, comment below and let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to regularly receive our content. Thanks for watching.